Hi, hello, Chegu Jaga here. Okay, today in year 3, unit 8, we are going to study about acid and alkali. Okay, acid and alkali. Look around you. All the substances like lemon, lime, toothpaste, soap, and then coffee. Okay, all the substances, they are either, either acidic, alkaline, or neutral. Okay, acidic, alkaline or neutral. So all these substances can be divided into divided into three, which is acid, alkaline and neutral. Okay, so how to test or how to how to determine that the substance is a neutral or acidic or alkaline. Okay, so that's what we are going to see today. Okay, let's go to the class now. Acidic, alkaline and neutral. How to test? You can test using litmus paper. So there are two types of litmus paper. If you see here, there's a red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. Okay, look at the picture here. Red litmus paper, blue litmus paper here. Okay. So when an acidic substance is tested, only blue litmus paper changes color to red. Okay. So if you let's say the acidic substance, okay, for an example, let's say orange juice. Okay. If you put the blue litmus paper into the orange juice, okay, it will turn into red color. Okay. The blue color will turn into red color. Okay. So if the blue color litmus paper change to the red color litmus paper, it means the substance is acidic. Okay. So let's go to the next one change in color of litmus paper with an alkaline substance okay when an alkaline substance is tested the red litmus paper changes color to blue okay let's say like uh, toothpaste okay let's say we test the red litmus paper using the toothpaste okay it will change to blue color okay red color litmus paper will be changed to the blue color okay if the red color litmus paper change to the blue color it means the substance is alkaline okay so you can see the difference between the acidic and alkaline right next one neutral substances when a neutral substance is tested there is no change in color for both types of litmus paper let's say you are using uh, neutral substances such as water okay water so let's say we put the red litmus paper and blue litmus paper in, inside there is no color change in the both litmus paper okay if there is no there if there is no change in the both litmus paper it means it is neutral substance okay i will recall it again okay if blue color litmus paper change to the red litmus paper it means the substance is acidic okay so teacher what if i put the red color litmus paper there will be no change see there will be no change if you put the red color litmus paper into the acidic solution okay let's say you want to put the red color as uh, red color litmus paper into the alkaline substance it will turn into blue then you can ask me teacher if i put the blue color there is no change okay if you put if you put the blue color litmus paper into a alkaline substance then it will be no change at all okay so this one and if you put the both litmus paper tested with both litmus paper and there is no change in the both litmus paper it means it is neutral okay this is the color change that we have studied just now okay next one teacher is that the only way to determine the substance is acidic alkaline or neutral no there is another way okay we can determine using touch or taste okay let's see how it works okay acidic alkaline and neutral substances the lemon tastes sour okay the cabbage tastes bitter this water is tasteless okay so these three types of different different taste right three, three types of taste so most acidic substance okay if you see most acidic substances okay listen to the word again most acidic substances i didn't say all acidic substances the most acidic substances such as lemon orange pineapple okay taste sour and they are acidic okay not only taste sour when you are touch okay when you're touching the the acidic substances it will be having a burning sensation okay burning sensation okay so if you see the alkaline substances okay most of the alkaline substances i'm telling you again most of the alkaline substances not all the substances most of the alkaline substances substances taste bitter okay taste bitter and 
feel slippery when touched like when you are touching the soap okay soap is a uh, alkaline okay when you are touching the soap it will be slippery right okay so yeah neutral substances have different taste such as tasteless like water water is a tasteless so it's neutral and then it is sweet let's say sweet okay like sugar solution okay then when you are drinking the sugar solution it's sweet right so it is neutral and also salty like say salt water okay salt solution okay it is salty and it is neutral okay so neutral substances may feel slippery or coarse when touched okay like sugar salt when you touch it you will feel like coarse right so yeah that's what they mean it okay let's say the next one okay let's see the next one acidic alkaline and neutral substances okay what you have to do now is okay i i think i i gave you few exam few examples for acidic alkaline and also neutral okay so in my comment box you can comment okay you can comment the answers for you uh, any acidic substances or any alkaline substances or any neutral substances that you know okay then i will check it and i will correct it there okay so yeah that's all for today if you like my channel you subscribe if you want to if you love it then you hit like if you want to share with your friends please share with your friends okay and if you want to answer my question then you can comment there or if you want to give any feedback you also can comment there okay so see you in the next class in the next class we are going to do a little activity on the litmus paper we are we are trying to we will be trying to uh, do like a small experiment on the substances and also the litmus paper let's see the color changes in the next class okay bye class bye